What's up guys, Stas here. So we're gonna break down Tesla stock in this video, the charts, key levels, where I see it going in the short term. You guys know the drill, so if y'all find value, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to follow me on Twitter as well, guys, at Stas Talk Stocks. I'm getting way more active on there. That's linked down below, and with that being said, let's dive right into it. I'm not planning on spending too much time on this video, guys. I wanna rip through this and break down what Tesla's looking like right now. So I'm sure you guys saw the markets did not do well overall today. We had a red day across the board on the S&P, Dow, NASDAQ, Russell, you name it. We had the VIX up a little bit, the metals pretty much broke even. So it was a red day across the board, but Tesla ended up going up around half a percent on the day. As you guys can see, it closed at 266, up over a dollar on the the day you guys can see we you know we had a lot of volatility throughout the day uh we opened up at around let's see 265 shot to about 267 down to uh, 261 and then we saw a nice uptrend for the rest of the day after that morning volatility a lot of volatility at that and we closed pretty much right at the highs uh that we struggled at in the pre-market in the morning and really towards the end of the day we closed right under 267 roughly which if i pull up the five five-day chart. Let me show you this. That's actually where we struggled to break out yesterday as well. 267, 268, right around there. So in the very short term, guys, that's what uh, you know Tesla needs to break. 267, 268. Let me set my alert there. Right now, Mark is at or above 268. If we do start to take out the highs, maybe tomorrow uh, from today, from yesterday, that could be a sign, you know, of maybe a reversal coming up in the short term for Tesla. And as you peel the layers back, of course, you're going to see a lot more on these charts, right? You're going to notice on the 10 day chart. Oh, wait a second. Is that a head and shoulders? Yeah, guys, it looks like a head and shoulders now, doesn't it? We have a clear head and shoulders here. We're under the moving averages on the 30 minute chart and we have a death cross. Uh, yeah, that's a bit alarming, which goes to show 268 and honestly 270. These spots need to break. If we do break those points, uh, you know, 275, 278, that's, you know, where we could be going. That was the high 278 from the middle of this month, just about. Uh, from four days ago. So, you know, Tesla's interesting right now, guys. We have that head and shoulders. Then if I pull the layers back a little bit more on the 20-day chart, we're riding this uptrend. Are we not? Look at that. We have higher lows being made. We're holding above the 180 SMA. We're kind of sandwiched between the uh, the 50 and the 180 SMA on this time frame. But overall, it looks like we have been uptrending the past couple of weeks with you know, just the past couple of days, us seeing a bit of a slowdown in that uptrend. Now it's the moment of truth pretty much for the bulls. Let me show you guys this. Higher lows being made, but at the same time, lower highs. You guys see these 278, 275, um, 268. So the bulls need to break out of this wedge here. We have to start breaking 268, 270, maybe 275. We might start, uh, you know, pushing from there. But, you know, overall, uptrend's holding, and we'll see where we go from here. And on the four-hour chart, guys, let me show you this. If I pull this up, we also notice here, okay, we had a head and shoulders right here. We then broke out. All right, nice. Now we're still breaking out. We're still above the moving averages. And you notice here even better or even more how we're above the 50 SMA, and we're just simply in a little bit of a, you know of a pullback right now. You guys can see as we've come down from 278 to about 265, 266. So right here where we are right now, guys, is very important for the bulls. And another thing worth mentioning, which I've covered before here on the channel, guys, we have a massive resistance at $300, no doubt. And another big one at about, let's say, 280 to about 285 roughly. Uh, you guys can see that was the high from the uh, beginning of July, it looks like. All also end of June and of course from a couple of days ago so that needs to break and another thing worth mentioning is we have an inverse head and shoulders you guys see this right here we have the left shoulder of the head we have the right shoulder right here you guys see that uh, and look, 268, 270 breaks. We fill the gap to 285. If that breaks, we then fill the gap to 300. We could be seeing some more upside uh, or, you know, we could be seeing some gains here on Tesla, guys. But we just have to wait for the confirmation, which my alerts at 268. I'll set another one at 270 and we'll see where it goes from there. So essentially, guys, kind of what I'm waiting for, is, you know, is 
Are we going to get the breakout above uh, you know, the recent highs here? Do we start filling the gap from 280 to 300? That's where I think the money in, you know, in Tesla stock, at least in the short term, we're, obviously we're not talking long term, but overall, that's where I think the money could be made. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, this is a quicker video, so we're going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to get up to 16 stocks for Moomoo, guys. It's free money. Use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks right off the bat and fund it with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks. And by the way, each of those could be valued up to $2,000 and fund your account at least $5,000 on top of those 15 stocks for a limited time. You also get a free share of either Tesla stock or Google stock. So get on it. What are you waiting for? Use that link down below. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys later.